Hi everyone, this is just a quick video with some of my thoughts, observations and impressions after a little under 4 hours of play during the Global Server Stress Test, aka Test Punch, of Nintendo's new IP, ARMS. Note that I can only really comment on what I had a chance to play during the first weekend of the Test Punch, which may not be indicative of the full game experience. So what is ARMS? ARMS is Nintendo's new fighting game for the Nintendo Switch featuring a cast of colourful and visually distinct characters, whose claim to fame is extendable springy arms and their assorted glove attachments. You can choose from three different arms at the start of each match, with each arm having a different weight and behaviour. They also have their own elemental attribute that is unleashed when making a charged attack, inflicting stuns, knockdowns, slows, etc. This, combined with each character being unique, whether in their ability to take hits without flinching, speed to evade being hit, or having other special abilities, allows for myriad choices in selecting a character and loadout to fit your playstyle. The controls allow for movement forward, backwards, and sideways, with the ability to dash and jump, or even air dash on top of that. Attacking can be done with each arm independently, and each punch can be curved after it's been launched, either to chase an evading opponent, or to get a cheeky slap around the side of an obstacle. Punching out with both arms simultaneously results in a grab and throw, a move that has proven to be very popular in the first sessions of the test punch. Lastly, you can defend by blocking. You still take some damage, and blocking too much damage results in your arms being temporarily disabled, leaving you vulnerable. The combination of these three mechanics results in the rock-paper-scissors triangle common to fighting games, where block beats attack, attack beats throw, and throw beats block. Onto the physical control methods. Nintendo's advertising material have mostly been pushing the motion controls, Joy-Cons held in thumbs-up grip, with one in each hand like joysticks unattached to a surface. Tilting them moves you around, pressing the buttons on the top dashes or jumps. A thrust forward slightly will punch, and tilting them towards each other blocks. It also supports traditional controls, with the analog stick to move, and buttons for punching, dashing, and jumping. Unfortunately, there does not seem to be an option for traditional controls while using separated Joy-Cons. During the test punch, I'd been trying to split my time about 50-50 in using motion controls versus using the Pro Controller. The motion control seemed entirely acceptable, better than I had expected, but I still personally found movement a little more difficult when using motion controls, and hitting the change target buttons felt awkward, although the actual punching felt quite enjoyable. Fun in a Wii boxing on steroids kind of way, but with more depth and precision to the gameplay. With some practice, the motion controls felt sufficiently accurate and responsive. The standard controller scheme felt better for me overall, though I still wish I could remap block, which is bound to pressing in the left stick. I found the controls, both motion and traditional, became far more comfortable to me the more I played, from my first half hour of feeling a bit disconnected from the action, especially in larger brawls where the number of things to look at combined with unfamiliar controls resulted in lots of frustrated flailing while standing on one spot, to three hours later feeling like I had far more agency and competence with moving and dodging and weaving. Another random note about the controls. There are some that I found weren't listed on the help menu. In particular, I found ZL and ZR easier to use for punching than the A and B face buttons, and I found using the right stick to switch targets easier than using the direction buttons. The test punch only allows for the party match mode, which puts you into an online lobby with other players, with the server mixing and matching you up into groups to play a game. While waiting to be assigned to a game, you can see the other players in the lobby and get an idea of the progress of the other matches, with health meters on each player, indications of damage as it's being taken, and a little tick mark around the circle indicating the time. There is also an option to warm up, putting you fairly seamlessly into a training mode to practice movement or try out the different gloves. When enough players become available, you all get pulled together into a match. Party match chooses randomly from several different modes. There is the standard 1v1 fight, 2v2 team fight, 1v1v1, i.e. a 3 for all, and 4 player all on all fights. There are also more unusual games, such as volleyball, which also comes in 1v1 and 2v2. The other game mode, where you dunk your opponent into a basketball hoop, was not available in the test punch first weekend. 
ARMS also supports joining online party match lobbies with two people on the same Switch. You take turns being placed into games, and sometimes get matched in together as a team and play split-screen. This was actually quite fun. I tried out the two-player online with my brother-in-law, and with the round so short, it felt fine to cheer each other on while watching the other play, and then occasionally we'd get thrown together to play simultaneously in a team fight. We never found ourselves in the same free-for-all game though, but that makes sense. While ganging up happens organically in free-for-alls and is something I just take as given, you could almost guarantee that players on the same console would be tempted to wipe out others before fighting each other. Party matches mixing of people and game modes seemed really enjoyable. I had fun with all of the game types, though volleyball took quite a while to grow on me, and the distribution of the different game types seemed just right, although I realise that's going to be highly subjective based on how much you like or dislike any particular mode. 1v1 and 2v2 fights were my favourite, though in the midst of 3 or 4 player free for all chaos, there's something great when you feel like you manage to play just right with positioning and target selection to make it out on top. I feel that the 1v1 and 2v2 game types will be considered the more serious competitive modes as you might expect. I feel the game has sufficient depth and room for skill to shine for it to be competitive. Since this was an online multiplayer test, I should probably talk more about the online. My experience during the weekend was completely fine with no connection issues encountered. I realise this may not have been the case for others, but I can only speak to what I saw. After resolving problems with my router configuration, after failing to ever connect during the Splatoon 2 test, my few Nintendo Switch multiplayer experiences since then have been relatively smooth. There were cases where latency was noticeable, but I found this to be infrequent and rarely caused me problems. Volleyball seemed to be the mode where bad latency was most noticeable and frustrating, though it's also hard to tell whether that was during the period when I just couldn't figure out how the timing and distancing to hit the ball worked yet. So what did I think about ARMS, as far as can be judged from four one hour long sessions over a weekend? I enjoyed it a lot, um, at least enough to make a video about it. It's a game that I think will be a lot of fun to play with friends in the same room which is something I've always looked to Nintendo for. More surprising though, it also promises to be a really fun online multiplayer experience, which is not something I'd previously associated with Nintendo. Safe to say I'm sold on the game now. Anyway, that's all I have to say for now, lest I ramble forever. Did you get a chance to try out the ARMS test punch? Or even if you didn't, do you have any thoughts on the game? Or about this video? Please leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching the video, subscribe if you'd like to see me make more, and consider giving me a like or dislike as you find appropriate. Cheers, and I'll see you next time.